Hi everyone, this is James with Blizzard Lighting, and this is video number 5 in our series of Eclipse DMX Software 101 videos. Uh, this video should be relatively short and simple. It's uh, mainly about uh, creating palettes that you can create, save, and uh, reuse many many times over in you know sequences, chases, etc. And then should you need to edit something because you go to a different venue or whatever, um, you just simply edit that palette that you used in all those sequences and stuff, and every button that you've already created is automatically updated just like that. So and the best way to show you how is to basically you know. Go to you know suck some moving heads or something. Moving heads, scanners, whatever you have. Go to joystick. Oh, set the position there. Go to position. Select create new. And you're gonna get an option for you know do you want to save a preset from just these channels? Or do you want to save a preset for all these channel types? And usually you're just going to want to use, you know, the pan and tilt channels, you know, the fine channels, or two, whatever. And what we can do is we can select the text, go over here, we'll call this ice low, you know, just because, just an example. And it's probably want to select save data for only selected fixtures that way you know it doesn't record in uh, empty fixtures that weren't used you know it's just gonna home them in for that palette you know so just uh, keep it for the default setting so we'll hit create preset and we have a slow so now if we uh, if hit clear all that palette kind of goes away because it just goes by the fixtures that are selected. So we'll go here and you'll see that right now everything's at 128. 128. So if we go to position, hit ice low, back to the faders, you know, they moved. So really simple to store positions. I mean, you could even, you know, say I wanted to edit this, you know, let's edit, uh, I wanted it even lower, or uh, maybe maybe I wanted them spaced out so I can use the fan tool that we have, it's really neat. Um, click fan start, which by the way, in my, in all these videos you might have noticed, uh, there's a red star burst and a blue star burst up here. Blue, red, the red is left click, the blue is right click. Alright, so we have fan start. That's gonna be zero fixtures. Click over or do it like that. So that fans out your fixtures for you. You know, instead of having all of them, you know, tightly close together it spreads them out and so what you can do is uh, center that again you can go left or right uh, up or down even so that's the start of it the end of the fan could be like there and the center there. So you can actually, you know, just orient, in, uh, orient your fixtures however you want. And these 255 is the sort of like resolution of how fast these are going to move on. So if you do 32, they're going to move really, really slowly. So it takes a lot of, a lot more clicks to get it. 28 is you know, a little bit faster. 255 you know, average speed. So, <sighs> sometimes we're able to 
right click and drag it up. Right. So, fan off. So, now that we have that set, we can actually go back to position. Right click, ice low. And we can do resave preset using current look. What that's going to do is it's going to take those values that we just updated and we're going to save it. So now I slow. Oh. I'll go put those off, select them, go the faders, 128 position. Boom. I slow. Now they're there. They're back there. So, you like, like I said, hit clear all. Select the fixtures again. At least the INIT. Now they're nice and centered up. To position. Ice slow. Joystick. Boom. Right back to where they were. So, let me we can, uh, create a different one. Joystick again. So we want these centered. Centered like that. Maybe fan them out again or something. And I'll stretch them out a little bit. So to create new. Switch this to text again. Do ice. Uh, wave. Create preset. So position. So we got ice low, ice wave. So what we can do is um we can save we can use these two palettes in a sequence. Uh it's super easy, I'll show you how. In this case we clear all position do ice low. What we're gonna do is click this record scene and add new one button. So that's step one. So that records that one. Hit step two, or hit it again. It adds the second step. So in that second step, now we can do ice wave. And uh, right now they're just going to loop between the two positions. So, save that as a sequence. Call it Palt Test. Save sequence. So now we know that those are saved like that. So, what we can do is go back to playback, turn this off. So, Ice Wave. We'll blow that up. Okay, well, that, that's too wide, so we'll shorten it up a little bit. Position, right click here, resave using current look. Ice wave, save changes. Oh, ice slow. Those are all there. Let's uh, stretch this out even more. Maybe curve it a little bit. Position, right click eyes low, resave preset using current look, save changes. Now, notice uh, I didn't 
I never resaved this button. So, once I click this, they should still be going to those positions that I just updated. So, click it. Go to joystick, select the fixtures, and now they're going to how I recorded them. Now, I didn't update that button. That button updated automatically on its own. And so, that's really handy, really cool uh, tool to have in your arsenal, especially for, you know, people spotting like a bride and groom, or, you know, people that do lighting for bands, you know, and, you know, the positions of the singers, or the drum set has to change, or whatever. You create a palette for each one of those positions, and update that one palette, and everything that ever used it is automatically updated. So, it's really, really cool. So, two, one. So, that is how you do uh, position presets. And again, you can, you know, say you wanted to add these in to it. Select them, go to the joystick, move them around or whatever. Back to position. Uh, right click it update it, then right click it again, you can uh, be able to change the name of it, yeah, once you resave it, you will be able to change the name of it, so, and, you know, really, really useful tool, um, well, you can create your own miscellaneous presets for focus, you know, for faders, uh, just you know, focus channel or whatever. You know, say you, there's always a certain color gobo focus combination you want to use for these fixtures. So you know, pick that gobo, pick that gobo, and you know, that color. Go to miss, save that and just update it for, you know, you want it to save the color channel, go channel, go to maybe the rotation and the focus channel. Uh, and I'll just label it ice color GB. Create preset. I've got that ready to call up at a moment's notice. Turn that off. So now, boom. Automatically updated. And anytime you update that, you know, different focus levels or whatever, it'll automatically be updated in every sequence or button that you have on this page. So again, really, really useful to make, uh, create, update, save, etc. Your own uh, miscellaneous palettes, uh, your own position palettes, stuff like that. So, alright, this is uh, video number five. Uh, James with Blizzard Lighting. Um, you know, again, if anybody has any questions, feel free to shoot us a comment in the comments below. Or shoot us an email at support at blizzardlighting.com and we will get back to you as soon as we can or almost immediately depending on the day. And we really look forward to helping out anybody with any questions they may have. Alright, thanks guys. Take care.